Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to continue to work on my Nissan Skyline. So today we are actually going to paint it. It's just a few more steps of just doing some more work to it before we can take uh, paint it. So today there's, yeah, like I said, really not that much we need to do. And then we're going to have uh, two layers, I think, of filler. Uh, then the Bayside blue color. The color code is actually called TV2. And then after I think two or three coats of base blue, not too sure, uh, I have a friend helping me with that because I cannot paint and I want this to turn out good. And after the paint, we're going to apply clear coat. When I started the engine up this morning, it only ran on five or four cylinders or something. So I've changed out the um, two of the coils and now it works a lot better. That's really good. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get a blue, nice looking hood on this car. I have also taken off that strut bar you see right there because we're also going to paint that and I'm in the middle of removing the GTR lips right there because we're also going to paint those uh, in the base side blue color this is not as you see a little bit uh, more not the, it's not the same color so I want those to be the same color tomorrow I'm actually going to display my skyline at the fast and the furious 9 premiere at the theaters at my local theaters so that means that we need to paint the hood today uh, so we are quite in a bit of hurry and uh, hopefully we will make it now it's actually nine o'clock at night and uh, yeah it's getting late and things are taking a lot longer than it should but hopefully by the end of the night we have a freshly painted hood we can put in the car so it's ready for tomorrow so as we saw in the previous episode, we shaped the hood and we made it look really good and we made the corners and everything with the fiberglass. So uh, today we're simply just going to make the shapes and everything turn out really good. Before we continue, remember to subscribe and like the video if you do enjoy my R34 Skyline content. And uh, yeah, let's continue the video. Well, while he is sanding down the hood, I can remove my GTR rear lips on the rear bumper. And uh, yeah, and one thing I need to address as well with this car, it is ridiculously low. I mean, take a look at that. And I mean, it, as you clearly can see on the condition of the lip, it's not that good because I'm scraping everywhere. And you can see why, it is so low. That's not good. So I am maybe considering to, option one, remove the black lip. Option number two, maybe actually the blue lip and just have the black lip on top of there. <sighs> I don't want to do it, but it's not cool scraping around in an uh, expensive car all the time. I really do not enjoy that. And I don't know, there it's 18 on here right now, but I feel like those are really, really small. So I am considering to go up to 19 and still have the same amount of tire. I'm considering to have 225, 40, 19. That will kind of race the car. Maybe that will fix the issue with it being that low. I mean, look at that, it's so low. I mean, it doesn't match. Look how low it is right there. And then you have up and then it's there. So the body lines doesn't match, but I mean, that's the way GTR looks. So I don't, I don't know. But now let's continue to remove the rear lip. Yeah. A guy I follow on Instagram told me that this is R34 GTT Nismo S-Tune uh, side skirts. So that's pretty cool. So it's not GTR like I told you previously. These are kind of rare, I think. I don't know, but now with no... Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> that looks so stock. Wow, that really made a difference on the difference on the rear end. It does not look... I mean, the GTR lip right there, that does a lot to the rear end. Now we're just gonna move the other, I mean you can see on the other side it kind of looks like that. Looks a lot better in my eyes. Now let's take that off as well and get it into the paint booth. Nothing to see here, just wrenching on my skyline. That was kind of cocky. I'm not, it is kind of cool to think that I'm now, yeah, wrenching on my skyline. My face side blue 
beauty. Here it is. <laughs> I mean, it looks very strange with no GTR lip on the rear bumper. <laughs> Okay, it is now one and a half hour later after we put the filler on and now it's hopefully dry enough that we can sand it down again. Then we will add the mighty Bayside blue color. Hopefully one and a half hours is enough for the filler to like harden that much so we can start sanding it down. And uh, we did have a problem with a few of the cracks from the um, carbon fiber like epoxy thing had some cracks over here but now it seems like it's actually gone from the filler so that's really really good and it looks really good with the edges there remember it was nothing from this point and beyond so this is really really good Here we have it, Bayside Blue, Nissan, TV2 is the color code, oh yeah, and here we have the reducer, and we're going to blend this 50-50, 50% paint, 50% reducer.
tired, but now we are actually done with the second coat of clear coat. And yeah, everything is done. So the stress bar right there looks mint condition. It looks really, really good. These GTR lips looks really good. The GTR hood looks awesome. It has a few faults, to be honest. It looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, as you saw before, it was looking in horrible condition. So this is a lot better. But I don't know if you can see, but there is a mark like right there or something that's not that good.